welcome back to another segment of this discussion. We're still on the case of the former National League advisor of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC Moise Banuwe. On Saturday, faulted the party for proceeding with Saturday's World Congresses across the nation. Now, the exercise, he said, may be nullified by the court because of the hanging legality boarding on the National Caretaker Committee headed by Yobe Governor Mai Bala Buni. Now, from the, looking at it from the legal perspective, we have Barrister Gabi Akimbolu, a constitutional lawyer, right here in the studio with us. Thank you, Barrister Gabi, for joining us. It's a pleasure for having me on the program. You're very, very welcome to the show. Thank you very much. All right, now, pleasure. looking at it from the legal perspective, what has just happened in the All Progressive Congress, what does the law say? Yeah, you see, for every exercise, there should be a source. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there is this uh, proverb that however long a rope is, there must be from a, a, a source yeah. where it comes from. Whether uh, the chairman of a party, whether the, um, the treasurer or a financial secretary, even a member or contestants or aspirants under that flag of, the, of a particular political party, you derive all your power, your duties, your obligations, your rights from the constitution of the party. In essence, the constitution of the party is, a, is an agreement under seal. It's a contract between the members and the party itself. The party is a personal victor mm. and a, a legal personality that can be sued, that can sue and be sued. So which means the party has some rights. You too as, as uh, followers or as members, you have some rights. Then, whatever you do, Given that background, whatever you do must derive its source, its legality, or otherwise, from that constitution. Now, what does the party of the APC say? Now, for every nomination of a governor, for instance, the chairman of the party is the authority to sign the nomination form. Now, if there's, uh, there's this saying that if you, you can't put something on nothing and expect it to stay, or that you can only add something to something, you cannot add nothing to something. Because when you add it something, there must be something to receive the something. Now, this is the, the it is a well established in law that they call it S Nihilo Nihil Fisi. Mm -hmm. That you can't it follows Isaac Newton law. Now, if the law is saying that you should sign the nomination form of certain candidates, and the Supreme Court has just uh, given a judgment trying to say, more or less, that you cannot hold two executive positions together. A governor of a state is an executive officer. You understand? A, the, the, the president is an executive officer of the country. The vice president, the same thing. And under the law, they hold those posts, even the chairman of a local government. You cannot do any of that thing. You cannot be the managing director of a company. Now, be the chairman of APC, and at the same time, the governor of a party makes you is similar to somebody who is a managing director of a bank. Can you be the MD of a bank and still be the governor at the same time? If the answer is no, it means Buni, so occupation of the office of chairman of the APC is illegal. And if it is legal, it goes without saying. Whatever he has done becomes nullified. And we are not even guessing here. The Supreme Court has spoken. And this once the Supreme Court of Nigeria speaks, all authorities in Nigeria will catch the code. Mm. They have spoken and except, except and of course, if tomorrow the Supreme Court said, okay, we have revealed our position in the case of Akere Dolu and we find out that we were wrong. That is the only thing that can save the Congresses that they have had. Otherwise, everything is a nullity. Why? Now, the Buni led committee, for yes. instance, you're talking about uh, being the governor and al also holding another position. Why wasn't this discovered before now and rectified? You see, in APC, APC is a party that are only good as opposition. They are not, they couldn't manage the success. The, the success came all of a sudden. They were overwhelmed by the success. As an opposition party to, a, to PDP, they were doing well. PDP on its own also, they know how to manage their affairs. But they are not good opposition. If PDP had been good opposition, all these things will have, maybe APC will have even been forgotten. But APC that we have today is a house that is divided against itself and it cannot stand. If you follow the Bible saying. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the way the antecedent of this party from day one, the house has never been won. 
and to worsen the situation. We we we, we have a an unbothered president. If the house the president is leaving is burning, he doesn't care. He's not even in charge. APC as a party, they are only in government. They are not in power at all. You will see that uh, at a point, you see Minister of Finance, uh, uh, I will say a few examples. The, the custom is under the Ministry of Finance directly. You see the DG of uh, Custom and Minister of Finance, they are log ahead. You see the, the Minister of um, um, the Attorney General of the Federation and the EFCC, which is under the Attorney General, they are log ahead. You see the Minister of Transport and Minister of Aviation, they are log ahead. The President will keep mum. In all of this, he will never say anything. You can see when the, when the crisis engulfed the party, sometime around this time last year, until the governor came out, we have, as at that time, they have got about seven, eight different contradicting orders. Of course, of coordinate jurisdiction. Some will go to Calabar and go and obtain an uh, order to bind an uh, guys in uh, Abuja. Nothing is, was working until he came out and said, okay, let us do it this way. They removed Oshio Omale. There was no legal ground to remove Oshio Omale because he holds his office for a certain time. It's a tattoo three office. So this is the problem. Now the, the 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 party has said that they are going to accord punishments for those who um, resorted to self help. So according to the law, is there so are there some punishment that comes with things like this? Yes, they can charge you, for instance, for anti party, mm -hmm. and you can be disciplined, which is suspension. But then let us look at it from this angle. If the head is sick, the whole body is not well. Buni, we know very well, is not competent legally. Legally speaking, to be the chairman of the party, how can you see somebody being the chairman of a, of a party that sponsored him to power and at the same time still holding the office and still holding the office of the governor? He abdicated his duty in Yobe State and ran to Abuja. He was enjoying it. His time was to be for some few months to correct the issues. PDP did it sometimes ago, uh, and they, they did it well. But now it, it has come to the turn of AP. People are now doing a kind of braggados. I am I'm more than you. I have more power than you. I can do this. You cannot do it. In a situation where a minister is more powerful than the vice president, it's not a normal situation. For instance, we know that the president is tardy. We know the pre that the president is unnecessarily reserved. Now, we are the vice president, a senior advocate of Nigeria, a professor of law, a, you know, a politician of note at least, to an extent, a pastor, a lot of these attributes. You cannot have it better. But unfortunately, what we see, we see Fashola there, the senior advocate of Nigeria. We have Malami, the senior advocate of Nigeria. We have Kayamo, the senior advocate of Nigeria. We have um, Dr. Mins Banire, who was also in the saddle. He has advised them. You said they should shut up. Kayama has advised them. You said they should shut up. You cannot know better than everybody. All you need to know, what is the problem here? Identify the problem. What are the solutions? Work, how can we go about the solution? How can we bring these warning parties together? You should work for the generality of the people, uh, the interests of the people of the party, not personal egos. What you see here, playing out here, is personal ego. Oshibajo we hold his own meeting separately, he will come. The Attorney General will hold his meeting separately, he will come with it. Um, 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 Kayamo will hold his meeting separately. All of them are followers. Omar Gege have his own followers. Why will Kayamo and Omar Gege not be on the same page? For goodness right. sake. These are the things. All right. Now, if Buni had invited you or had requested that you be his lawyer yeah in this very case very well. is there no way we can get around it no there's no way you can get around it because the law is law you, if you look at article 17 i think is this 17 so far whatever is article 17, you look at the provision because it is and some other provision of the or the dc the the, the 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 chairman of the party has a lot of roles to play he will find the nomination form of candidate he is also the only authority to give notice for, to INEC that we want to hold the Congress. Because every Congress must be supervised by INEC. Any Congress not supervised by INEC is a nullity. Now, if you are not legally uh, you know, appointed as the chairman of the party, or if the court has said it is illegal to make you the chairman of a party, can you legally call for Congress 
And if you call for Congress, what is the effect? The effect is that all the Congresses conducted across the country is a nullity. And at the end of the day, all their candidates will lose to, a, to PDP or whatever, whichever party that is popular there with the judgment of the Supreme Court. The nomination of APC in Anambra State is already void. This is wow. the issue because the governorship candidate has submitted his name. Unbuni has signed it. They are taking it to any. And the law we have today is that if it is less than 90 days or thereabout, you can no longer substitute candidate. Once you submit your name, except the candidate dies, you can't substitute. Now, it will happen that if APC wins in Anambra or some other place that it has happened, when they go to court, the victory goes to PDP. Is there we have no seen it lawyer? In state. We have seen it in Bayesa State. We have seen it in uh, River State. Yes, we have yes. seen it in so many states. Because of internal wrongings and lack of question, they have lost uh, those states. The, you understand? They narrowly lost on those states. Yeah. This is a problem. With, a all, with all these legal irregularities in APC, one yeah. wonders, don't, don't they have somebody? Uh, yes, in, in advising them. No, come again, please. <laughs> That's, somebody should have been in a position to give them legal advice as no, to what to do and what not to do. Let me tell you, APC is a party. Yeah. If you know too much, they push you aside. Mm. People like Oshio Male, you know, there was no party discipline until the coming of Oshio Omale. When Oyegun was there, he was a rubber stamp. He, you understand? They didn't allow him to function. He could have done well. He's a man with uh, integrity. He's a man that has experience. He's a man that has, uh, you know, weight and stature, you know, politically. But they, are, they disallowed him from functioning. They brought Oshio Omale. He, he tried to instill internal democracy in the party and discipline of members. But you don't want him. You have brought somebody who is a stooge. This is what they want. Muiz Banile was fantastic mm -hmm. as a legal advisor. He was doing his job very well. But because he was telling them the truth, they didn't like him. They got him removed. Also, he didn't, I don't think he finished his tenure before he left. Now he has still, as a lawyer member of the party, he has given them proper advice. Kayamo fantastically has given them a proper advice. He didn't say, oh, because I'm a minister, we have to, we don't need to wash our death linen in public. Mm. It is better, he believes, let two of them believe, Ms. Vanilla Sien, uh, Kayamo Sien believe, let us do the right thing, not minding what it is. So far, we get it right. But what did they do? They call it bluff with them. Mm. If the AG believes, they'll know, what do you know? Mm. I am this. And it's going to tell on the parties, you know, eventually. Oh, uh, yes, uh, uh, that actually is in leading a, in to... In a matter of weeks, you okay. see a flurry of cases everywhere, in all the states. Like, the, I, I read somewhere, I was an analyst on for one uh, particular radio, you know, I'm the official analyst, and when I was reading this, they said uh, they conducted a fresh, uh, you know, a, a peaceful congresses across the country. I said, it's a lie. It's the people, somebody died in a kitty, somebody died in some other places. How can you say it's a peaceful Congress? I, I don't know. I, I didn't get that. I didn't get that report. The one you just said. No, there because all, all the word A take it in. Don't the Congress on Saturday. Quote me. Uh, but we had across the country. It's it was peaceful. it was violent. Not, there was a lot of there yes. were a lot of violences. There were a lot of irregularities. Protests in, here and there. Delta. There were issues between Amagege faction and Kayamo faction. In Kwara State, there were issues between Lai Mohammed faction and the governor's faction. So what is regular there? What is peaceful there? What is legal there? It is the life of a, a, a Nigeria. The blood of any Nigeria is not worthy to be shed because of somebody's ambition. And we should learn from that. Yeah, all right. So what now would you say, legally speaking, still? What I can say... Yeah, that's the... Both the immediate and remote consequences yes. of what has the happened. only thing the only advice i can give to them i'm not a member of any political party i have never been a member of any political party and i don't think i can ever but you were sounding like a politician i, I can never be i don't <laughs> in fact god will be i don't god forbid that i join politics <laughs> you understand in nigeria you mean no god forbid because we are not playing it according to to the rules, rules. we are not yet in democracy in nigeria we are only in civil rule now it, the only advice i can give they should go and undo all the illegalities that they have done. They should cancel the Congresses and do another no, that one. one. That all is right. the only thing. They should remove Buni, put mm. another person as a caretaker who is not a political office holder. Let him now order 
Aine, let him now write to Aine, demanding for the holding of a fresh congresses across the state and let new leaders emerge. Because all those leaders in the state too, we issue uh, this thing to, pre to pretend over elections. They will do local government elections, they will do House of Rep, do House of Assembly. Eventually what you will have is that PDP will come back fully yeah, in 2023. Okay. If right. they build this house on this foundation, because however strong an edifice is, if the foundation is weak, the entire stuff, yeah. Thank you Definitely so much. Eventually. Amazing analysis there. I, I think you should be one of the lawyers for APC. <laughs> yes. I'm not particularly <laughs> right? I'm a lawyer. I handle cases for both of them. For, for <laughs> right. so Thank I'm you. a professional lawyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do for any, any party at all. Just, be, just so, pay him and he'll yes, do for you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, thank you very thank much. Thank you so yeah. much, Kabi Akingbulu. A, a constitutional lawyer and amazing legal practitioner there. Don't forget to share your thoughts on our social media platforms. Tell us what you think and the conversation continues there. For the spot lovers, we'll take a short break now. After this, they'll have Jidechi Chidi as a standing by to bring us up to speed with what's happening in the world of sports. <laughs> 